Well, now, Dragon's Den is due to return for a sixth series. They are looking for would-be entrepreneurs to uh, date. The Dragons have distributed over 3.3 million euro and have seen nearly 300 aspiring business projects. Well, applications are now open for the next series, and I'm joined by one of the Dragons, Gavin Duffy. Let's first of all take a look at you in action, Gavin, at, uh, in last year's season. Dr. Tyrone Bowes from Galway wants the Dragons to invest in some DNA detective work. If you think you're Irish, he promises to prove it beyond doubt. Hello, Dragons. I am Dr. Tyrone Bowes, and I'm the creator of the Irish, Scottish and English Origins websites. And I'm here today to look for a €120,000 investment for a 25% stake in this business. That money will be used to automate the process whereby I pinpoint a precise origin for people with Irish ancestry based solely on the results of a commercial DNA test. That's a valuation of almost half a million euro. But Sean still isn't clear on exactly what Tyrone is offering. Let me get the process completely right. If I want to use you, mm -hmm. I have to give my blood sample to somebody. No blood sample, it's a cheek swab. OK, I send that through the mail to some company. Yeah. And they'll give you the test results back. I'll then purchase your service separately. Yeah. yeah. So if I take the Sullivan surname as, as an example? It's O'Sullivan. O Sullivan. We, we never Sorry. took the soup. O'Sullivan. <laughs> the O'Sullivan clan are up in arms, and the Duffies aren't far behind. I'd say if you did your own search, one of our famous highwaymen has to be in your own background. And I'm saying that sort of half in jest, but like to think that, you know, I would take a 120,000 euro punt. This is not a charity this is an investor's forum. I don't see a return here, so I'm out. Sure. OK, well, Gavin, that's you in action uh, last year. You don't pull your punches, do you? Um, well, the one thing that does get me, Keelan, I have to say, is when people come in and they have a very good idea, but they have a ridiculous valuation on it, you know, um, so, yeah, sometimes, uh, and when it's edited down, it's like that. I'm not, I'm not excusing it, but, um, yeah, uh, the... I think it is television, so what we have is um, you have the odd brilliant one and then a lot of ones that are barmy or bonkers and yeah. a few in between. So you, 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 get, you get the two extremes. And you extremes. need a mix of them on the you TV need, show. You, you, you need a mix of them. But can I ask you, I mean, it is actually your own money you're investing, is it? Yeah, well, sorry, just to clarify, I, I don't think RT gives us the money, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't so, know so, so, it, yeah. so, so let's be clear. Uh, it is, and that what what gives it the huge adrenaline rush and that's why I love doing the program because you know it's like buying a car but instead of going to the garage and doing a test drive and kicking the tires and lifting the hood somebody just drives by you at the end of your <laughs> footpath and winds down the window and shouts out a few facts and you've got to make a an almost instant decision there and then and, and how are you doing so far have you made any money out of the investments you've made on Dragon's Den well I'm doing very nicely, I suppose. That's why I'm still there. Because uh, in venture capital, you know, if you only have a 1 in 10 hit rate, uh, that 10 is usually so successful, it pays for the others. And uh, over the years, I've had some spectacular successes. This day, next week, uh, we're off down to Australia uh, to meet multiples uh, down there for Tan Organic. It's going very well internationally. What, what is that, a, an organic it's, fake tan? It, yeah, it's an organic fake tan, if that's not an oxymoron. But, you know, it is an eco-certified one. It's fantastic. That was developed by a, a woman here in Ireland, Noelle O'Connor. Uh, perhaps the outst one of the outstanding successes is um, uh, henparty.ie. Uh, Kate Hyde uh, started from her attic bedroom a few years back. And now that business is turning over millions of, really? of you. Yeah. And that was through Dragon's Den. She that got was through the, Dragon's the funding Den. she and, needed and to spend. What you'll always remember about the good ones is they come in with a compelling proposition. And I'll always remember, she said, recession or no, there's still going to be 27,000 weddings in Ireland this year. There's a whole industry looking after weddings, but nobody is organising hen parties. I am going to build the big website portal for hen parties. So it was a compelling proposition. Uh, I was lucky enough to invest, and uh, that business you is a phenomenal a success. So, and, and roughly, do you know what the hit rate is overall for Dragon's Den? Like, how many of the companies that do get money from the Dragons go on to succeed and deliver returns? 
genuinely, they would all have a good degree of success in that it's very difficult to set up a business these days. But the only reason to go on Dragon's Den is if you're getting the benefit of a national TV launch, and, yeah. you know, if you want to be in the shops and be in every shop suddenly. And the funny thing is, you know, trying to, you know, get to multiple buyers is difficult enough. But when you um, have been on Dragon's Den, even if it's a curiosity, you'll get the meeting. They have the benefit of the TV coverage, so they usually get, they get a little bit of a step up. So, what are you looking for this year? Now, you're you're putting the the shout out, if you like, for applicants. yeah, we're 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 saying to people, uh, you know. Uh, Start working on your application now. You have until the 20th of December to get your application in. Uh, of course, through Bank of Ireland, our sponsors were also doing Junior Dragons again. That was fantastic last year. It was 12 to 18 year olds, but we're also extending that element of the programme to third level students as well, because there's a lot of great campus companies out there. So uh, th there will be two Junior Dragons programmes, there'll be eight regular Dragons Den programmes, and uh, it'll be on air towards the end of February. So, All right, so um, soon enough, they better get the applications in. Yeah. Do you yes. have a, a website address for those yes, applications? Yes, it's uh, bankofireland.com forward slash dragons. Okay, well listen, good luck with it and thank, thank you very you, much Caitlin. indeed for coming in to us this thank morning, you. Gavin. Thanks. Thank